Now, Bobby, um, we could talk for days and days and days about God's angelic hosts and yes. all their assignments, and a lot of that is in your book, yes. and we highly recommend um, our viewers to get that book because it's a, a very good uh, teaching book. It's prophetic. It's revelatory. But there are also, and this is also covered in your book, there's also the fallen. Yes. So not every angel chose, because angels do have wills, yeah. but not all of them chose to serve the Lord. Yeah. Some of them fell. You cover that in your book. Yes. But recently, the Lord has taken you into some encounter yes. to show you new levels of hordes of hell that are being released in this hour. And of course, that's biblical. Yes. The Bible talks about in the end days how you know certain regions of the underworld are going to be unlocked and hordes will be released. Yes. So can you share some of that revelation with us? Yes, I was caught up into the third heaven and uh, we were there and, and the the Lord said to me, look, and I looked but down like this, and I saw the second heaven, the place where the devil makes his strategies and his plans, and the devil summons a principality, and all of hell, you could feel the evil, you could feel the vibration and excitement, and so this, this principality, they bring this box, a black box that looked maybe uh, 18 inches long, maybe 10 inches high, and it had black smoke rolling around it like this, and so uh, I watch this, I can see it like I'm watching a movie, and so this devil opens this and you can hear like just heaven buzzing like this and they take out an implement some kind of a key didn't look like a key but it was a key and the devil says to this principality go unlock the hordes that's what he said and so he takes this implement and he starts flying off like this just flying off through the universe and so the lord said to me go stop him and this has happened before so i take off and i'm flying I'm flying, trailing him just like this, and he flies, and he goes into a part of the earth that looks much like the Badlands. You know, not trees, uh -huh. but like caves and canyons. And this thing flies into a hole in the side of the earth. So I go in there too, and most of the time I was invisible. I could do anything around them, they couldn't detect me. So I thought it was gonna be that way this way, this time. So this thing gets there and he morphs back out like this, and so he, he's got the key. And he's, you, can, you could hear the cage demons. You could hear them, they're, they're, they're gleeful that they're gonna be turned loose. And so this, this principality is handing this key over to the keeper of those hordes. And so the Lord said to me, I said, stop them. So that's, I thought, okay. And so now I went whack, just like that. And they're trying to exchange this key and I, I hit this thing real hard right here. And the key goes up almost like slow motion. You can hear a all of hell's growling. This wow. thing goes whang and it falls on a, a hard rock floor and it makes a ding 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 and it rolls like that and rolls through a crevice, rolls down into a crevice. And so, but I thought I'd still be invisible, but I wasn't. They turned on me like you could not believe. They were trying to rip flesh. They were trying to rip my heart out. They were angry because angry. the oh, key was gone. You've never yeah. seen anything like it. And so then I, I, the only way in the world I could get them off of me, I'd say, Jesus, have mercy, and they'd have to turn me loose. Then I'd speak in tongues. I'd pray in tongues, and it's pitch black. It's blacker than black. When I'd pray in tongues, a little ball of light would go foo -foo, and fall right in the floor like that, and I could step in this. And uh, during that time when I'm crying out, uh, I wake my wife up. She she's she hears all this struggle, and and I'm I'm praying in tongues, and I'd say, "Step in the light," and that's the only way I got out of that thing. Well, but I'm telling you, when I came out of this thing, it almost it, listen. I, I could feel the re effects of it, and the Lord said, "Tell the church you've bought a little time." You remember when I knocked yeah. that thing out? Mm -hmm. So there's a little time. You know, we got to work while it's day because the night comes when nobody's going to work. No man work. can work. You know, um, Bobby, what this speaks to me of is that we need to get our lives aligned because yeah. when the prince of this world comes, yeah. he can have nothing in us. That's right. There can be no hook. Righteous living is extremely yeah. important in this hour yeah. because if we live in the light, the devil yeah. cannot touch That's us. Right. He might try to throw stuff at us. Yeah. He might try to war against us, but he's not going to prevail That's right. because the power of Christ's righteousness manifests in us. But if we choose, willfully choose yeah. to sin, we are setting ourselves up to be taken out by yeah. some of the cruelest demons yeah. that are in the universe. Yeah. And so I just want to put that out as a, as a warning uh, to those who, who um, are in sin is to say, get out yeah. of it now, get your life aligned, right? Now, very, very quickly, because we're uh, wrapping this up, 
and I know you have so much in your book, Heaven's Host, The Assignment of Angels, the Faithful and the Fallen. But can you share, and, and then we've shared this on another program, yes. but Randy Domain and Sister Gwen Shaw, who's uh, to be with the Lord, Chuck Minister, yeah. many other ministers have been called by the Lord to bring some insight about the Nephilim, which is, you know, of the demonic yeah. realm. Yeah. Uh, very uh, evil, evil spirits yeah. that are loose in this hour. But God yeah. has raised up this company of angelic hosts to be yes. sent into the earth for such a time as this. And you have actually seen yes. those angels that have been sent to protect us. Yes. Can you just quickly in the next minute yeah. just I, share I sure that will, encounter? Uh, I want to say this. I have seen these beings that you're talking about, the bad ones. I call them hybrid beings and uh -huh. they're horrible. But God has God has an antidote for mm -hmm. it. I was caught up into heaven and I saw these warring angels, magnificent uh, created uh, beings. And so they're standing there. And I thought to myself, they're standing too far apart because they were like soldiers. And so I thought to myself, they're standing too far apart. And they looked at me almost with a, a look like, who are you to tell us how to do business? That's basically. What, and when, when, I, when I thought this, they threw their wings out like this. Oh my goodness. And wing touch wing. And under, under their wings was not feathers, but like razor sharp pinions. You know? right. And here's what they're going to do. They're going to come down to this darkened earth and they're going to whoosh and cut a pathway of light for us to travel through. I and love that. Really I love that. I love it. Yeah. Bobby 